I used to be a, a little priest boy. All guys. Like bald, beard, like, and you like work out a lot and you're jacked. Bald, beard, brawn. Yeah, bald, beard, brawn. Brewski. Is anyone trying to hit the Pope? Who well, tries to go after well, the Pope? Like, you know So, right, guys. Well, right. you can start off the intro, then I'll tell you something that's been kind of kind of bothered me today. All right, guys. Well, I get. I mean, I guess no one's gonna see this, but what to whoever edits this, uh, I guess. Uh, welcome to the test recording of the Jake and Kevin show. Just get the ball hey. rolling, you know. I'm J I'm Jake. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm Kevin. And that's. I'm Jake. And that's so Jake. Kevin. So wait, your so full at, name is at, Jacob Sokol. Oh, I, I think you know that, Kevin. Jacob or anyways. Sokol. Anyways, moving forward. Um, so, as some of you may know, Kevin and I both have engineering degrees. But you know, today I'm an avid TikTok user, and today I saw some. A post where some guy was saying how he didn't go to like didn't go to college or anything like that, and he just like taught himself how to code. It took him like a year because I mean, if you just dedicated, I mean, if you weren't doing anything, you just <laughs> dedicated your time to just learning coding. You, you could easily do it in a year, or, like yeah. you can learn a language in a year. And he makes like he goes to a couple times like rounds of internships. Now he makes two hundred thousand dollars a year. Are you serious? It's like yeah, it's just like he's like no degree, just a computer programmer. It's like okay. Hey, Dick. <laughs> yeah, I know. But then again, well, first of all, like it's, I guess, like I've that you we've talked about this before that like you don't need to go to school to learn how to like compute like oh, to go to you know, computer science. And you then like learn how to go, okay, well you can take what you say that I know I think I know you're getting, you're getting well like this, but at least from my personal experience, in like the engineering, like the the school of engineering. I feel like computer science kids, at least like in the engineering computer science, would always just like walk around like just like big dick swing and like thinking they're so like. Okay. Just, like, well, just, I was like, going to say, I think they're really weird generally. Well, yeah, but, like, like they they just like, they're like, oh, yeah. No, I'm, they do. I'm a. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm comp sci. I'm comp Yeah, the engineer. I'm engineering comp sci. And then like, <laughs> like, I'm really just like thinking like, okay, well, all the classes are so easy. Because like, first of all, like, they, yeah. they like doing computer science and all of their classes are just stuff that they like to do. It's like when you do like electrical yeah. engineering, like like probably m the majority of your classes, you're it's like not going to interest you at all. 90% you don't yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like computer science, it's almost all of it besides like algorithms classes and like just like yeah. annoying stuff like that. It's like, they're like, That's oh, a good dude, point. I didn't think about it's that. It's just like, oh, it, it's just like MPs all day. And then like they love doing that stuff because like, all they do, like doing is just like sitting, sitting there and just like writing code. First of all, yeah, yeah that's, that's another thing. Like, you could be the, the most antisocial person ever. You never have to talk to another person and just have like a great job in computer program. Like, it never even would come up. Yeah. Well. But. I mean, I'd also rather be a normal person than be antisocial, and make two hundred thousand dollars a year. But yeah. But yeah, they do have like a, they do have a chip on their shoulder for some reason. I don't know why. But it's like I don't know why. I I could have like not even gone to high school. Like not even gone to college. And just, okay. Like, watch All right. Uh, and just like watch. Well, you YouTube. can. I mean, you you can it's, learn how to. I mean, I don't know if they would hire you. No, I'm just saying. And just like watch. Rat come up the street. Well, I'm I'm saying like if you just like watch. If, if you billionaire. are a beast programmer, it doesn't matter your background. Like if you well, have like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like you. I mean, yeah, but I feel like I mean, okay. Well, so it'll be hard. It'll be hard to find a job, but yeah, it'd be you could. it'd be hard to find a job. But like if you could somehow get your foot in the door and then like prove your skills, like hey, this is what I can actually do. Yeah. And like. That's true. Well, more than anything, because like I feel like that because programming, you actually like can prove yourself really quickly. Like, yeah, like as like, I, I think a lot, of, a lot of the jobs are pretty ambiguous. Like, if you're good or not, it takes a while to figure out. Like, like oh, we just lost a contract. That guy sucks. Like, and yeah. after like a, two like, months of having someone, like you've heard like, like you always hear like the stories like oh like th this guy like hacked into like the CIA database and now he like works for like the Department of Defense. Yeah. Like like that happens all the time. Like you, like yeah. Yeah, it happened to me. <laughs> you see, like a SWAT SWAT guys just like kick through your window. 
No, some guy hacked and he like hacked into all my stuff. So I just hired him. <laughs> For what? I remember all my passwords. <laughs> Use your password guy. Yeah, instead of resetting password, I just call him up. <laughs> but just anyways, I just no, it's just kind of frustrating. But at the same time, I say that I'd rather not be a rat comp say loser. So I guess it kind of equals out. You know. Wait, so wait, why did? Oh, it'll be. How did we get on this? I was watching TikTok and it bothered me. Oh, it's fresh cause, my mind. Because that guy got a two hundred thousand dollar. Yeah, he was. I mean, he, he seemed like a nice guy, to be honest, but yeah. he just, he gave out the typical like weirdo vibe, you know. Like you, like you, hang, like you hang out with them in a group, and then you would not hang out yeah. with the woman I want because you feel uncomfortable. But like that kind of. A, but like that is that is the area to go into if you're antisocial. Because, like, most yeah. of the jobs... Or, I mean, like, I mean, honestly, not... Well, yeah, I guess. Because, like, if you're good enough, they'll, they'll literally just give you projects and, like, you can just, like, sit, like, anywhere, really. Anywhere with just, like... Yeah. With with a power source, just so you can plug in your laptop and you can just sit there and code for, like, 18 hours straight. As long as you finish it... It like, is kind of... They don't yeah. care. Like, they, like, even if, like... Like, honestly, my one friend, he graduated uh, from U of I for computer yeah. engineering so it's not like actually computer science but it's like yeah it's pretty much like in between like electrical engineering and cs but i like computers i like computer engineering he he got a job like a year and a half ago mm-hmm. and he's a he's a software engineer Jeez. he's only gone into the office one time he's been yeah, like, that i like remote. that's like he says i was gonna like, say that that's like one of the best perks. he says like he doesn't like talk to like he he like talks to people through emails, like barely ever has to like get in Zoom. He like doesn't talk to anybody. They just like send him like projects and things to work on. And then like of course like he's like like he like actually communicates with his like team, but like he doesn't yeah. have to like actually talk to them. Like he could just like sit there and like text them. But, but like he doesn't right, well, he like barely has any communication with the company he works for. And like he just like sit for a year and a half and like he just sits there and just like crazy actually. Yeah. Well, I mean Okay, there's definitely pros and cons to that though, because like for me, okay, well, I like working remotely because you know, the drive to work and like that, and, like mm-hmm. just work my underwear. But like after a while, like I don't know, like I feel like half of my social life is my work. Yeah, like I mean, I, I, I'm not super social, so it's like especially, if I didn't, if I just work, I, if I work remotely, I would just be like a hermit. Like I know I'd be a hermit. Yeah, so, well, so, I don't, so I guess like the people don't know uh, that, uh, oh, I mean, Jake is in the witness protection and like so he had to he moved yeah. away it was, it was something stupid too i didn't even do anything like i, know, I just like he took the president motorcade <laughs> i like god forbid you make a wrong left turn you know ruin your whole life <laughs> just he, t-bone the presidential minivan <laughs> president minivan <laughs> it's a minivan but oh Jake's been feeding. If you're if you're president, would you ride in the big like okay, so I feel like there's so much of Okay, do you feel like you're mm. safer if you ride that giant motorcade or you just like if you just like took a normal car like like but like they use use that as a diversion. What would you rather do? If you if you if you're the president and you had your yeah. choice. So I guess there's so like the pre- your car would your car would not be bulletproof, would be a normal right, car. Right. The president's limo is just like in, like it's literally called the beast. You remember that? Yeah. It's like the Cadillac yeah. Beast. And it's like yeah, is it, well, it's like a tank. It's pretty much a tank. It's like the Pope Mobile. It's just like we're here, and like even even though well, the Pope Mobile was like the thing they carry, like they just carry them like a basket. Yeah, but it's like bulletproof, like you. It's like explosion. Is it? Yeah, because like seriously. Yeah, think about like the Pope. Dang. Like who sh- is anyone trying to hit the Pope? Who well, tries to go after well, the Pope? Like you know, like there's like people do. Because like th- like there's like huge like controversies between religions. Between yeah, like two beef. specific religions, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah there's the, I, the Bloods and Crips. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. There's a Pope. He's he's a Crip, right? I think the Pope is dying. He's, Did you see that? It, something. He like went through surgery or I, something. I, I thought he's not allowed to have surgery. I don't know. I thought they were like, no, I'm gonna spit out <laughs> Like the, the he like, big, he like, like walk into his room with a little like <laughs> he needs this like wisdom. Dude, I, I, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to do uh like okay first of all wait okay, on I'm not like okay we're gonna okay you, wait you, on you, 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 I'll say what you say no 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 the the what were you gonna talk about so we can so we can mark I was just gonna say really quick like my favorite part of church is when they 
not that I go to church all the time, but when they like the guy like just flings oh, the holy water, <laughs> and then also the other guy where he's like he's like like nunchucking around yeah. like the incense thing too. It like, smells so good. He's I like, know, I love that. He's that, that Dude, might, I, I, hold on. If you think about it, like that might be the best job of the church. Oh yeah, for sure. It's just well, like, I actually well, like, nobody can, I doesn't told you like this. that guy. Oh no, he's. No, but that's, I thought the it's Pope like, does well, it. I mean, the Pope. I thought the <laughs> priest does it. <laughs> no, no, it's all, it's always it's like never the main. It's priest, a priest. You know? It's like the priest's henchman, right? Yeah. Well, anyways, the, when the I was, Pope, I didn't the tell you this, but the main priest always flicking water. I mean, that's a pretty good. Yeah, he does. Because that's what they always have the, the nice forearms. Everyone, everyone wants the water. Like nobody's. Dude, like, they can they get those. They're like okay. If the, <laughs> yeah, if the people that, if the people that shot T-shirts, if the people that shot T-shirts at basketball games had the arm strength, the Pope to just fire that. I get hit upper deck, fifth row back. But they're down below. <laughs> yeah, they give me every time on the forehead. They get so accurate true. too. He's like, he's like accuracy and this. He's like across the church. You're not even paying attention because you're like, oh, I'm gonna wait for him to come over here. Like I'm not, I'm not getting, I'm not getting. Like n- no, no, like I'm not that I don't want to, but I'm not, I'm not getting any love sitting over here. And then like, just like yeah. hits you in the side of the face. I know you, yeah, like you feel, you actually feel like you're part of the part of the game. Like basketball, you know, these other sports events, you never even, I never even got a thing close to me but every time every time the, the priest gets me it always makes you feel yeah. wanted it always makes you come back honestly it gets, gets me multiple times mm-hmm. but i didn't tell you one time so you know there's a lot of, a lot of allegations with priests like that with, you know these these kids but one time i didn't tell you this but so i used to be a a little priest boy <laughs> uh, i was like a <laughs> Not Paul Bear. It's not the guy from the. This is the guy in the weddings. <laughs> it's the guy that like holds, oh, it's, it's like holds the cup. But anyways, I had to retire He's early. Like I, didn't, a, I, didn't, a I was a Paul Bear. <laughs> I was a, I was a little priest henchman, and uh, the priest actually, I had to retire early. Dude, I was gonna say that shit just scared the yeah, shit out of me. I was gonna say your Alexa just turned me. on. It was like definitely, definitely just listening. I was like, <laughs> I was just about to. Tell I thought there was like a. I don't know what I thought, but I was like picturing a demon next to my head. Anyways, <laughs> that scared the crap out of me because I, I was picturing him in this window looking at me. <laughs> just Anyways. like a, like a big blob guy. He's like purple, just like only like uh, like light eyes, no. like giant eyes and like teeth. Just hmm. Ew. Well, anyways, so I had to retire early because a priest like. He had the incense, so he got done with his, got done with his little um, holy water. He set it down. He started incensing it around. I was coming up behind him to give him a refill. He does a swing, <laughs> just clocks me. I was out for like three days. So after that, I had to, I, I had to retire. I mean, I like doing it. I just picture like, uh, like a conqueror execution from For Honor. Just, <laughs> yeah. And just like hits your head clean. You get for shit. I mean, they just have like yeah, two other like. What are those boys called? Like, oh, uh, altar I, boys. I'm, yes, yeah. They yeah, have like two other guys yeah. just like drag you off. Just, yeah. Well, if you think about, it, I mean, they're swinging that shit around. I mean, there's okay. Eighty percent people that go to church are like their battery is low. I mean, they're like oh, they're yeah, in low power ch- mode. So if they, God for God forbid this guy one wrong move with that thing, he's taking a life. I mean. Seriously, I mean, I, I guess That's you're true. gonna go. A good place to go is in church. I mean, you're yeah. half. I mean, got okay. half of stuff done. Yeah, you know? getting uh, getting killed in church with the incense. Like, I think you just like, like you you're know, like, they just like oh, you're, you're you go the, like straight up to the gate, you know, like the pearly gates, and like you know, like yeah. there's like that guy like checking the list, like who gets in. Like you just like yeah. go get up to the gate, and then you just like take you just like get his job. You become yeah. Yeah, they're just mm-hmm. like you're automatically. Or, or like the VIP, whatever the I'm assuming there's a VIP some, like something. Yeah. You definitely get that. You like, you For just sure. like appear in like your heaven condo, and then like you open your door and it's just like a little like gift wrap box and like the big guy. He's like, yeah, like your bed. Yeah, he's like sorry about that. One. Yeah. <laughs> that was my bad. <laughs> but. <laughs> yeah, it's a tough job. Do you? But no, I did not see that the Pope's dying. That's crazy. I uh, actually, I honestly, I think I went out on a limb to say that. Pope. I, th- I think I heard some inkling of that. Is that the right word? Inkling. Inkling. Oh, he did get surgery. Oh. Oh, so he got surgery. Oh, so it I don't. Think, I don't think he's dying. So it says Pope re- reappears after surgery, backs free universal health care. 
This is you seriously? Mm -hmm. Is that a joke? That's what it says. That's the headline. (laughs) Interesting. Could you imagine if they just like gouge the Pope? Like a political, like you mean, like politically, like no, like what, like in like healthcare bills. (laughs) (laughs) Oh yeah, there's no way. (laughs) He's like, we can't can't pay for the surgery. (laughs) Dude, ah, that's funny. It's like that's funny to think about. No, but so our how we got on this? You said like, would you rather be in like the giant like, like oh yeah, how do we? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. tank, or would you just want to be like in a discreet vehicle? Like my yeah. my like objection to the discrete vehicle is like like if anybody finds out besides like the the driver that you're in there you're screwed. Yeah, well, it's, I mean, that's true. But how are they gonna find out? Well, because like, I mean, if, if if they're gonna make an attempt on your life, then obviously like like not any. I guess I guess any Joe Schmo can try to kill the president. Like, if it's just any Joe Schmo, then you want to be in a tank. Like, what is he going to do? That's true. So, like, so if, if you're but thinking, like, okay, I'm in this If tank, your driver's in on it, then I feel like either way you're screwed. No, I'm saying, like, besides, like, it would have to, like, besides the driver. Because, like, with, like, doing stuff like this, like, it's not, like, only the driver knows. Like, someone has to hire the driver. Like, someone has to tell him, like, it's not like he, maybe he, like, it's not like he doesn't know he's, like, driving around the president. Like, what, like, yeah. I guess the president could just get, like, an Uber or something. I don't know. I don't know, but when I used to drive on the president, we didn't like know beforehand, so I guess it would be. Oh yeah, I guess I don't actually. I don't good. really know how to do. I don't really know how they go about that. Okay, I think I would choose. I would choose the armored vehicle. Yeah. But on like, that note, so I think I've told you this before, Kevin. Mm-hmm. What were we gonna say? No, I was like just gonna say like if if I'm in the armored vehicle with like the motorcade and like all the secret yeah. service around me, and they do end up killing me still, and like I'm not yeah. like. Not in like in a convertible in like Dallas or anything. Like I'm, a, like I'm a, like an actual like, actually inside. And they end yeah. up do killing me. Then like, I don't think there was like much gonna like stop me from dying anyway. Cause like it's gonna take like an art like, some sort of IED or like some sort of like okay, super secret like toxin or something. Yeah. Two things. First of all, one just a little fun fact about me. I think I told you this, but. If I'm rich one day, more than anything, I don't know why I want an armored vehicle so badly. Oh, that'd be sick. I think sick. it'd be so cool. Yeah, because then I just like drive to like, I don't know, drive to Mexico and just flip off like flip off people, just <laughs> try to get gangs attention. <laughs> then start shooting at my car. Just like, because once you like, I feel like if you had an armored car, like, wouldn't you kind of be like an instigator like a little bit? Because you'd want someone to, to test you. Oh yeah. Like oh no, oh, no don't, please don't shoot me in my car. <laughs> I feel like I, I feel like, like, like I feel like I would have that like just like a a fraction of that like power if I just had like a really big truck like because you know like if somebody like got like road rage like it couldn't like do anything to you like in terms of like th- like hitting you because they're just gonna destroy their car and like it's so like yeah I don't them. know I feel like that, I just like that's so mainstream though yeah what I'm saying like you know what I mean like if I had a okay well can you okay you say that because you okay <clears throat> down here. Everyone, like, I feel like everyone thinks like that. So, like, it's not, like, it'd be like someone just could ram you head on with their own truck. And, like, there's always a bigger truck. See, yeah, if, if you're in an armored, like, if you're in a bulletproof <laughs> oh, car. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, it would be, it would be armored, though? No, 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 I'm saying, like, if you, if you had your bulletproof car and someone yeah. T-boned you as hard as they could, still gonna, it's not like it's going to absorb all the impact. You're just going to be, like, Okay, but it would, okay, no, no, no. But it would destroy their car, like, way more than it would destroy my, I mean, these, I don't like an armored car. Like, like not like oh, the glass yeah. is a little bulletproof. Like an arm, like a drive around, like a, like a two mile to the gallon vehicle. <laughs> okay, that'd be pretty sick. You have, to, you, have to, you have to turn like five miles per hour every like turn. It's just so heavy. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. Like, but like, okay, that's that's the same thing as like being a doomsday prepper. Like that's like you'd like want bad things to happen just mm-hmm. so you can use your stuff. Because I feel like all those people. There's don't like yeah, there's so no way true. they don't want things to happen, right? Yeah, they because they want to prove everybody wrong. Because like you know they they've been, like <laughs> well cults. that and they want to use their shit too. Yeah, well, like but mainly like think about it, like every single day. You like look you like, let's say you're just in a small town. Like everybody knows like this like oh this is fucking crazy Bill like and you just like 
yeah. pulls up. <laughs> that's true. Okay, that's true. Yeah. He like, pulls up to like the the like the grocery store and he has like a truck with like tank treads and everyone's like Yeah. He's like, Hey Bill, he end, goes of day, again. end of days, huh? Better stock <laughs> up on those beans. And he's like, oh, I'll show you. And then like he just like yeah. he's just waiting for the day you can prove everyone wrong. I was like, Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Because it's not like unless like and also I guess I, I'm I'm sure there are people because that is the point of it, right? It's like to survive. So I guess some people do keep it yeah. secret. But like all these guys that like go on the like the TV show, like oh, Doomsday sure. Prepper, like because yeah. like you know they they all they all want the smoke. You can like those guys yeah. for sure. Oh, I think Post Malone's a Doomsday Prepper. Pretty sure I read that some. Yeah, does he? He has like a bunker or something. He has like a whole compound, I think. He, but he like, I think he's like secret. Well, it's like one thing, I guess, if you're just like a multi multi millionaire. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I would do that if I was multi millionaire yeah. and you have money to spend. But like a lot of those people, would you not? I bet like a lot of those people on that like show are just like, they're putting yeah. all of their money, like every paycheck, oh, they're just yeah. bleeding it into this. And it's like never going to pay off. And even if it does. Well, that's why I was saying like, you no, know, like you're right. And that's why I was saying like, when COVID first happened, I like, I guarantee there was like a good amount of them were like, yes like finally like i had like 10 oh, years yeah. worth of food That's and gas true. masks and stuff <laughs> they're like you know they're going out like like when the first like there was an inkling of it like everyone had like maybe okay maybe some people were wearing masks whatever you know they were like in they're like full hazmat <laughs> gear like getting like chips Dude, out of the grocery store you know what's funny though actually they wouldn't even be going to the grocery Dude, store they have a I don't know. think about it, though all those people all those people that like went through that they like that like Anybody who would have the the doomsday prep would yeah. also be the, the people who like are like anti maskers. Like they don't like like oh, COVID isn't real. It's just like a conspiracy. <laughs> Wait, that's <laughs> a, that's <laughs> true. Like, yeah, how, how were they playing to that? Yeah, they're. I don't like, know. They've been like preparing like their whole life and like teaching like this, their kids this philosophy that you have to like prep for the apocalypse and like once <clears> like <throat> the apocalypse comes up, like they deny it. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually that's really funny. Yeah. Because like they're like the, they feel like they're like the they're like the people that have like the don't tread on me flags. They just like yeah. hate the government, so like, they don't like listen to them at all. I don't. That's what's like. So what would it have to be then? Like what 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 would it have to be it would, for them to listen? Like I it would have to be like a zo- like literally like a zombie apocalypse. Yeah, it would have to be like something that like, like undeniable. Like yeah, like an earthquake like or they a could see or something or like a yeah. meteor. Yeah, or dinosaurs. A meteor comes and just brings all the dinosaurs back. Dude, could you? I just thought of that. Like, not that, but <laughs> what if a meteor hit? The probably is, there's got to be a movie about this. But if not, this would be a great movie. A meteor hits. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I guess the blob. And anyway, I was gonna hit myself. The meteor hits, and then like he unleashes like either a plague or like an alien. There's, I'm sure there's movies. I'm like thinking. I'm like talking and thinking at the same time. But you know what I'm talking about? Like, well, like, like you're saying with dinosaurs, but like an alien race or something like that. It just isn't that like just destroy people. I mean, it's not highly probable, but like that's definitely. In the realm of possibilities, Plausible. it's like. Well, I mean, it's. I'm sure it's possible, like, but like, like we've even found life anywhere else. So like, odds of it hitting us and then doing that. Mm, I guess so. But also, if because else, I mean, also, also, what would survive also, what slamming into the earth? Yeah. I wonder. The myth. Let's set a, let's set a letter to the MythBusters. <laughs> they like. <laughs> they just slam a meteor into the earth and just. <laughs> See what happens. I was, no, I was about honestly, to try to do an impression, then I was going to do an Australian accent for some reason. Like, all right, today we're doing. I don't know why I, I, th- I thought I was doing that. Honestly, oh, anybody man. with a bunker, that would that's probably the best place to go when a, if a meteor hits. It's like that's the thing, right? When a meteor hits, it just kicks up a bunch of like dirt and dust into the air and it blocks up yeah, the sun. Yeah, and grime. Yeah. You, you a bunch of like push ice over the place. Like everyone would have to go underground. Like what, what else? What, what else would you done. be able to do? I forgot, my, I forgot my rice cooker going. You cooked rice. Mhm. I was making. I, like... I was making pizza. Hmm. Do you have it? Did you have it already? Mhm. Okay. Let me. You, you gotta tell me if I'm weird or if this is normal. Okay. But um. Oh, that's my cube I made. But I'll go into, I'll tell you about that. Is later. it a die? <clears throat> okay, no, this is just a normal cube because I just got a uh well, okay, so I use AutoCAD. No, not AutoCAD, uh, 
excuse me, Fusion 360, the, the, the 3D model that I use Cure to, to slice the printout stuff with my little, the, my little 3D printer. Mm-hmm. But Fusion 360 requires a license that expires. Like, it's, like, stupid. Like, you can only use it for a little bit, like a student thing, whatever. Mm-hmm. So I get a new thing. So I got this new thing called FreeCAD. Not, in my opinion, not nearly as easy to use. I like, it's supposed to be like easy to use. as like... I've used for you use before. it. Yeah, it's it weird. Sucks. So I'm trying to get better at it. So I'm, I designed this cube and just printed it. So I just want to see yeah, if I can it's... do it. It's weird, but I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to get good at it because it's like the only one I found. But anyways, what I was gonna say is kind of along the same lines. I like <clears throat> I get great pleasure out of having like things like work for me. Okay, so let me, let me just break that down. Okay. It could be like the, like small things. So if I have like my washing machine going, my dishwasher going, like I just feel good doing that. Like I have like I'm not doing like I'm not uh, really like I mean I could be doing productive things, but like I could do I mean I could be doing productive or not productive. But I just like like knowing that like I'm being kind of productive like without having to do anything. You know because I mean? like my yeah. clothes are getting clean, my dishes are getting washed. Like my rice cooker, like air fryer makes it, like I have that like, cooking like you just takes like, maybe like forty half an hour. Makes you feel good. Like my 3D printer, I have like a you know 10 hour print. Yeah. It's cool knowing that like something's printing, like something's like working for me. It's like and that's kind of what drives me to like want to make a business really bad. Mm-hmm. Cause I just like oh like you just want like passive just, income. Just, yeah, like, like but it's kinda like, the, No, do you know what I'm saying? It's like one of the same lines of like having a whole operation like run, like without yeah. me doing anything. Like I mean I have to just like the do, like you have to like, kind of get everything running, but like mm. once it's kind of going and cooking, like yeah. I like that feeling. Is that weird or is that like normal mm, I, I mean i definitely know what you're saying i don't i feel like i don't have that you're saying have, i'm weird i don't have as much you're pleasure. saying i'm weird no no i i, I definitely can understand no kevin saying. i get ple- kevin i get pleasure out of yeah, it okay I you're like ah. i get pleasure out of <laughs> i just sit there and watch my rice cooker uh, anyways <laughs> yeah just, anyways honestly i digress I, I honestly can't see anybody but a white man saying that he likes watching th- things or people work for them, but it's all right. Well, like, s- like saying it <laughs> or like <laughs> getting away with saying it because I feel like it, it's opposite. <laughs> I don't oh, know. It's my just kind of on brand for you, huh? Yeah, well. No, no. So I know what you're saying. Shit. But I think I'm more. So when you first said, like, I like having things work for me, my first, like, my first thought was like, oh, like, he, he means, like, what you actually meant was, like, having, like, things, like, literally work for you. And then I was like, oh, no, yeah. I think he's talking about, like, like, having things work out for you. And then I was like, oh, okay, well, like, that, oh. that makes that makes more <laughs> sense. And then you, like, spun it around. So it was like a double twist. It's a double I, yeah, twist. I zip-zabbed. So I, you can, like, see, that's a good storytelling technique. I zip-zabbed it. Yeah, you zip, like, on my face, it was like a roller coaster. So I was like. And so you saw the confusion, like, and then I like, get, figured, like, what is he getting at? I, like, what is he getting? And then I reel you back in. Oh, See? like, oh, I like having things work for me. Like, it's like, oh, like, mm-hmm. so, like, I thought you meant like, I you design like something in your three D printer, and then it like actually prints and it works, and you're like, oh, that worked for me. But then it, it could be a twofer. Yeah. Well, when I cook, when I cook food, and it turns out good. Yeah. When I print something, it turns out good. So See, well, I just. Yeah. I guess. I know. It's, uh, I guess like my satisfaction comes from just like having like. Like having things like, like when when something gets finished, like yeah, if I have like something in the rice cooker, yeah, that like Instapot, and yeah. then like finally it's done and I'm eating it, it's like, it's like satisfaction. Or like when I like finally really? finish making food, or like when I'm doing laundry, I don't like I'm not thinking about like oh like this this washing machine washing machine's like doing the work for me, but like when I like finally yeah. finish it, I'm like oh that that's really see I don't get satisfaction like that like at all like like when I'm done with stuff like. Say I'm done with the laundry. See, the laundry is done, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I like when it's going, but then when it's done, I'm like, oh, really? I gotta fold the laundry. Or, like, when my dishwasher's done, like, I'm like, yeah, dishwasher, then, like, when it's done, I'm like, no, I gotta put these guys away. Mm-hmm. Or, like, food, like, it's done, like, I mean, I'm like excited. I'm like, honestly, not that excited because, like, I'm like, okay, well, I'm not, I'm not a big food guy. I like, I'm not a big eating guy. Like, I've always, yeah. that's why I've always been skinny, but I'm trying to get better at that, anyways. So, I'm like, all right, I gotta eat. I gotta, and then I gotta clean the dishes. Like I always think of that. Like I don't know if that's just me being. Am I just like lazy? <laughs> is that? No. Is that? I don't know. No, I mean like I, I don't know. I'm just. I'm just a. 
I'm just lazy. Wait, I just you, just hit me. Are, like you can't tell me it doesn't like feel good. Like when like like oh now we gotta do the laundry, but then like when you're done with it, you're like, doesn't that feel so good? Okay, well, okay. Like, I guess it depends what stage. When I'm done completely with the laundry, like folded, mm-hmm. put away, yes, I feel good. Like I'm done with it, eating and then putting things away. Yeah. Dishes are all clean. Everything's done. Well, yeah. Feel good. So, but like, so I guess, I guess. But like, yeah, there's yeah. like that like one. It's like kind of like a. It's like a roller coaster. Like at the very top, it's like the very top. Like, and that's the point where like you did like you realize that you have to do it, and like you're just like, and it's like building up to doing, it. and then like that one yeah. point where it's like, oh, like this sucks. But like after like you decide to do it and you start going down the hill, that's like it all gets better. Yeah. Unless like I there's like so. something that's like really fleshed out and like just like really stressful for like weeks on end, but like little like around the house chores like that, it's like it's always like I don't want to do it, I don't want to do it, and then you finally start doing it, and then it's like gets it gets it just gets better from there. Mm. Yeah, I think I agree. I think I agree. Unless unless I, I unless it doesn't work out, like if you're if you're three D printing something and it's working, and then like it like stops printing in the middle of the night, and then oh, it's just yeah. like immediately, and it keeps getting worse and worse. Yeah. <laughs> And then you like run out of a, uh, run out of goop halfway through. Yeah, yeah. Reminds me, I bought more of that stuff. I haven't used it yet. Did you buy some of like the cool, uh, the cool s- super strong stuff? No, I just have normal black PLA filament, which is like the pretty much the most generic stuff you can get. Mm. But like, I can either there's two different ways I can change it up. I can change it up color wise, which I haven't done yet because like I feel like. Or just like, I'm not like making things like I make things out of utility now. I'm like, oh, here's something cool. Mm-hmm. So like, black's fine. <clears throat> I think it's more universal. But I, I probably should eventually. Like, I think glow in the dark would be cool. But anyways, Ooh. if you you could switch your, I have to like modify my print printer slightly to print out different. I mean, it depends on what I'm going to use. But like, this mm-hmm. ones are like kind of advanced filaments that like require like a new extruder and things like that which honestly i have this thing like kind of fine-tuned right now not gonna work is there anything you can use like print like like really like soft rubbery material yeah there is stuff like that it's it's like the one of the harder ones to print i believe i'm not super good at 3d printing but when i looked into i think that's like it's like more malleable i think that's one of the harder ones to print that's what i wanted to get into so yeah i feel like you could print a lot of cool stuff with that yeah also a nylon it's like super strong so there's also, there's also wood. There's like wood infused filament. Really? Yeah. You know Rocco? He's like super into that stuff. That's pretty cool. Like super super. He like built his own 3D printer. It's like three 3D really? printers. Yeah. You know, be he's sick. one of those kids that's like naturally smart. You know, what'd be sick. To hmm. uh. To be able to print PCBs. Actually, the fun, it would be cool. But the funny thing is, there's a guy. <laughs> So senior year, I was in, I took two senior designs. I had like my year long electrical engineering one, but I I took a semester long mechanical engineering one. I don't know why I like, well, like it ended up working fine, but I don't like, I honestly don't know why I chose it, but so I had two senior designs, but mechanical was just a semester long. And in my group, we had like, it was me, another electrical engineer, a computer engineer, and then this guy. Okay. I don't know class time or anything because this guy he was like 35 35 bald uh did he have he a, beard? a wife like bald yeah he's a, okay you, you if you're bald you, you have to have a beard yeah let's just put that i'm just throwing out there or else you look weird but the, i feel like you look either weird or cool when you're bald anyways anyways no yeah you can look like this guy was so, dude, yeah bald is the such a huge spectrum i don't know how to it, it really is there are some cool looking bald like guys bald beard like and you like work out a lot and you're jacked. Bald beard brawn. Yeah. Bald beard brawn. Brewski. Those are the three B- B's. Yeah, with a brewski. Yeah. And a bud. Yeah. Yeah. But um this guy was so smart. Dude. He was like good at everything. Like he would he like, oh yeah, I was this major and I switched to this major. <laughs> like, but I'm really this major. That's like <laughs> he didn't talk like that, but yeah. <laughs> Actually not like that at all, but otherwise. But he was like just like he knew everything. Like, and this was like we our thing was like our project was actually kind of hard. It wasn't even like mechanical. I don't know. It was really confusing because I don't know how this was mechanical scene design, but it was like we had to develop. Okay, <laughs> we had to develop a PCB that like did all this stuff. It was like a. So it was, it was like a startup company, right? Mm-hmm. And they like had a, they had this idea. Okay, I don't know how they got like. 
they like paid some money for us to do this, but like not that much. And we don't obviously we're not getting paid like they, they like paid to be in the program to, to like to get in the program. So like once they're in, they like had free labor for a whole semester with us. So like they yeah. just had us design like this entire elaborate system for them. It was like a PCB that controlled like this farm equipment that like had to have like, all this stuff in it. And like it was really confusing. But this guy he knew so much. And he, during the semester he's like we had to make a PCB. It's like yeah we can go we can get it fad we go to a mill like but it might take a few weeks or like a month or whatever. So he bought. A milling like a PCB milling machine, so it you like put in copper chips. It like okay, you can only do like certain like they can only be a certain like complexity because like you know how like actual PCB PCBs have like multiple layers like yeah, they come different yeah, routes yeah. and like that. His is only like one layer because like obviously uh -huh. it can't be crazy like because uh -huh. it would like mill out the connections. Uh -huh. It was like, but it was sick. He and he like oh, here, within a week he comes back. He's like. Here, I made the first of all, the thing's like a thousand dollars. He just like <laughs> buys it, whatever, and buys all his equipment. Like, he's like, Here, I made a little tester. Like, it, within a week, like, this whole like a little PCB. I'm like, Dude, like, I'm like, he makes you feel I, I just felt so <laughs> stupid next to this guy. Like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I'm the electro engineer. He's like, I think technically mechanical. I'm like, Dude, mm -hmm. you make me feel like an idiot. Like, it's like he just, I don't know. So, yeah, PCB milling machines are cool, and he had one. Uh, what if that guy was just like, he like, already knew all this stuff and he was just like and he, he just had like a whole bunch of money and was just going through school yeah. again just like make people feel bad <laughs> I, I would not doubt it i honestly he was like it was like undercover boss but yeah. for it was like for like for, for engineering i was like dude i'm like uh, you just tell me what you want me to do and i'll do it because like uh, clearly you know every area of this project inside and out that's hilarious that but he's a he's a nice guy i added him on linkedin i'm like this guy's gonna be the ceo someday <laughs> It's so like be like a janitor <laughs> or something. And fallback. I'm gonna fallback number three. My fallback number two is FBI. Well, how far on the list is uh when we, we become cops? Let's fall back four. Actually, that's that's realistically that's three, and then the, the <laughs> janitor's four. The smart guy janitor. Mm-hmm. He just like he's blowing his nose the, and throwing the good the him. good the goodwill hunting yeah. like just solve math equations for him or like screw him up and, and just keep going yeah <laughs> but yeah I guess but overall the whole the semester turned out good so but yeah like it was cool talking about like PCBs like that that's eventually what I want to like make a product with I want to make like a super right. complicated like electronic product. You want super complicated or not super complicated? Well, like, like some, I guess, like work my not. I guess, like work my way up to it because I honestly don't yeah. really know. I, I I mean I know like the basics, but like I definitely wouldn't. Yeah. It would probably take me a long, long time to make something very super complicated. That's why I'm trying to like do like well, it's confusing. small steps at once. I think PCB is one of the hardest areas of electrical engineering, but also it's like one of the like most lucrative. Well, so like, I think the most lucrative. My friend. I don't know if you've ever met him. He was my roommate junior. His name's Joey. He, his like job. Right oh, now, Joey two time. No, that's a, uh, that was my roommate's sophomore year. Uh, it's just it's just Joey. We call him we call him JoJo. We call him Yo Yo. We call him Jo Joey. Uh, but his like job now is just like designing yeah. PCBs. And, he, was he double A? Mm -hmm. huh. And he says is he that, older than you. Yeah, he's like a couple years older than us. Hmm. But like he says it's so he like had the same thing like he obviously took like senior design and like one of yeah. like the main things I don't know if it's like I don't know how it was for you but like every project in like ECE like the main yeah. thing was like okay, you have to design the PCB. That's like the whole project pretty much. Really? It's like I guess like No, he didn't. It's like the whole, ours was not ours was not a hard work. I mean like we didn't actually have to do it cuz cuz COVID like bombed the entire thing like we never even had to like build our thing it is wow. but like usually is like 60 percent of it is just like designing the pcb just like making like a test of it like and then like printing it out and actually like imp like implementing it in your yeah. system and like he said like he had no idea what he was doing he like pretty much like had it like like his whole like his his like 
group just like did everything for him and like he was kind of just like yeah. trying to like figure it out but like it was like really tough and he's like getting help from yeah. a lot of people and now like that's what he does as a job and he what? says it's just like he says it's like super easy and he said he could probably do a senior design project in like in like less than a week he said he could probably do it in like three oh. weeks oh oh where's word that word that connection well, like get he made. got it well he got his job they just like yeah and then him just like shadowing like this other engineers and just like he just like learned mm. everything from them like when like they just like taught him everything at his job pretty much so he we went from That's like cool. knowing like pretty much i guess in like an engineering standpoint like if you just like took anybody off the street it wouldn't be zero but like from an engineering standpoint he knew like zero about like what his like actual responsibility was and like yeah. within like a year he can like his like level of understanding is just like eons above where these that's cool i just feel like when you are in industry it's easier to learn stuff because for a couple reasons i feel like people are like they'll teach you what you like what you need to know they don't tell you the crap yeah and you like have an actual interest because like what you're going to be doing so like you learn better if like you're more receptive to it so like so i feel like it's way better it's way better of a like a learning environment Mm mm-hmm I gotta fix the waters under my desk. All right, so Jake, I'm sorry to cut you off, but uh, I think we're gonna have to wrap this thing up. Yeah, my my rice is done. I gotta yeah, go. I get it. Be... I'm about to head to the I gotta head to the gym. I'm already gonna be late, but that's all right. So uh, why don't you uh wrap it up? Give it a little outro or something. All right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. This is uh this is gonna conclude our first episode of Jake and Kevin Bonanza. Um. I don't know what the name's actually gonna be, but yeah, who knows what they're... if you hear this, I if you if you actually if you hear what I'm saying right now, I really appreciate you listening to the end. So or just skipping to the end and listen to what I have to say. So all right, tuning out. Thanks. <laughs>